Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Things are going really badly, but nothing's new there on that account. Things have been going really badly for like the past few episodes. Now Chanka and Minyaka have lost two children in the course of one day and understandably they are quite distraught about it, we'll say. Tronka had a mental breakdown and is now wandering around in a dazed state, doing nothing um, useful. Minyaka is about to be the same. Her mood is so low. If we look at um, her mood, yeah, her mood is at 0%, so she's likely to have an extreme mental break as well. So Jay is going to be responsible for keeping the colony together in these trying times. Jay's done this once before when everyone was freezing to death and dying of disease. Colonist Lee needs rescue. Minyaka has gone catatonic. She will recover in several days. Oh, that's not good. All right, Jay, I need you to rescue Minyaka. Okay, so it's just gonna be Jay. Jay holding down the colony while Minyaka's in catatonic sleep and Tronka's wandering around dazed. Unfortunately, Tronka is the only one cooking food for our colony, and Tronka is not currently doing his job, so we might have to start resorting to eating raw rice or raw meat until uh, we can get Tronka back in line. We should be able to recruit Olga though soon. Olga only has 5.5 resistance left, so we'll have Olga sooner rather than later. Okay, we at least have that to look forward to. In the time being, we have this wild impid roaming around our colony, eating all of our food. I think she's eating this rice on the ground and stuff. Um, a bit of a pest, if I'm not lying. Because she's human, um, I don't really want a hunter that feels wrong, that feels like really morally despicable. But at the same time, look at this, she's eating our hard-earned food. Um, I also don't want to tame her. I don't want to like try to teach her, you know, language and stuff and, and adopt her into the colony because, I mean, we don't really have need for her skill set. She's okay at a couple things, but she's not really good at anything except for social. And we already have some people who are decent at social. She's really bad at shooting in melee, so not really worth picking up because she can't really defend the colony anyways. We don't have a lot of mining to do. Hopefully she wanders away eventually. If she doesn't wander away in a couple episodes, maybe we will um, see about either adopting her or hunting her. But Starvation. Minyak is starving. Now, is Jay set to... Wardening? Jay is. So, Jay needs to feed Minyaka. Sorry, Jay, you need to wake up because Minyaka is starving. There you go, Minyaka. Sorry about that, Jay. I didn't mean to disturb your beauty sleep. Hopefully Tronka will snap out of his days sometime soon. We could really use um, a second hand around the colony. So I think we're gonna be in for another rough year. Um, we're getting behind on farming. We don't have a lot of food in stockpile and all of our meat is spoiling because we don't have Tronka to butcher it up and cook it into meals. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of starvation this winter if we're not careful. We're gonna have to supplement our rice with a lot of hunting, I think. We need to be better about hunting this winter. Hopefully hypothermia shouldn't be as big of a deal because we'll get complex clothing researched. But I've said that the last two winters, and guess what didn't happen the last two winters? We didn't get our what, the one thing we needed to get research done. That being said, Olga has intellectual skill of eight. So Olga will get this done in no time once we get Olga up and, up and online. I think we're gonna go ahead and set Olga's priorities to be just hauling, cleaning, and researching, pretty much. Olga's also pretty good at plants, I think, but for the time being, 
we don't need Olga focusing on plants. We've got Jay and Tronka to handle that. Um, both Jay and Tronka are fantastic at plants as well, and we don't have that much farming to do that we need three people farming full time. Now I'm going to set Minyaka and Tronka's relationship pregnancy approach back to normal. Or maybe we'll ask them to try for a baby um, so we can get a kid in the colony again. I think it's fun to have, you know, a kid that you're raising and shaping over the course of a colony. We'll have to be more careful about keeping this kid safe though. I don't know how exactly that's going to work. We got some rare thrombos also visiting, um, visiting the area. We're going to leave them be. There is no way we're going to be able to take on one of these things. They are so dangerous. So dangerous. It'd be nice if we had the uh, the weapons and the manpower to take on one of these because their horns make for pretty decent weapons and their fur makes for pretty decent clothes. But for the time being, we're just going to let them be. We're just going to appreciate their majestic nature. And at least there's a beautiful aurora lighting up the sky. So everyone's going to be a little bit happier. Not that Tronka and Minyaka can appreciate it. Minyaka's stuck indoors and Tronka's just mindlessly wandering around. But maybe Jay. Maybe it'll lighten up Jay's day. Okay, Jay is getting caught up on hauling, which is really good. Jay is hauling all this rotten stuff out of the refrigerator. Perfect. Tronka, we could use you any day now. Any day now. Tronka is no longer wandering in a psychotic state. Look, all it took was me asking nicely. All right, fantastic. What are you doing? What are you doing? Excuse me. We have this wild woman trying to harvest all of our hard worked crops that she didn't do any work for. And she's so bad at harvesting that she's botching them all and she's only producing five rice on a harvest. Get out of here, you're wasting our crops. We're gonna starve because of you. Oh, I am so tempted to press this button right now. It's only my superior moral fibers that are preventing me from killing you, Sonova. Gosh. Maybe she's more trouble than she's worth having live. Maybe we should just recruit her anyways, even though we don't really need her. Even though the only thing she has going is social level 6, which Minyaka has as well. Tron Jay's even better social. Oh my god, she's really not worth it. But we can't have her just like harvesting all our crops. This is terrible. I don't know what we're gonna do about Sonova. In other news, I just noticed we have a, a baby calf. That's cute. Okay, we're gonna get our car our um, ranching economy up and going sooner than we uh, sooner than we know it. Ranching is pretty good because it provides milk year-round. It's like a year-round source of uh, food, which is pretty good. And you just have to feed them hay, which I think is pretty efficient to grow. It takes such a long time to grow, and it yields decent. Okay, Olga's down to 3.1 resistance. We'll have Olga in no time. Tronka is back to cooking meals, so we're not going to have to eat raw food. Thank God. Relations with Eastern Nea are improving. Okay, they must have been one of the factions we pissed off by trying to kidnap their people. At least there's that. All right, Jay, what's going on? Just having some, uh, playing some Hoopstone? It would be cool if that, um, if that activity, throwing rocks through the hoop, like improved their shooting skill or something. Because I feel like the hand-eye coordination would really make sense for them to improve their shooting skill while playing that game. Hey look, Jay has medical level 3 now too. So now we have Minyaka and Jay who are both medical level 3 doctors. Now, don't get me wrong, level 3 is still really bad. <laughs> I think it's significantly better than level 2, so we'll take it. Um, how are we doing with our parasites? Minyaka's gut worms. 255% out of 300. And Tronka's uh, muscle parasites. 209% out of 300. Okay. 
Slowly but surely, we're getting through him. I think uh, Minyak is going to be healed first. Chonk is going to be the last person to heal. Our pantry is going to be so thankful when Minyaka stops eating so much. I think she's eating twice as much as usual right now. Even though we have four, four mouths to feed right now, um, it's almost like we have five. I'm not counting Sonova eating all our raw rice, so maybe it's more like we're feeding six people right now. I don't know how I feel about letting her keep continue freeloading off of our um, off of our farm. I've never I've played this game a lot. Um, I've never once had a wild person come in and start harvesting my crops. I haven't seen that behavior. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention though. Um, but it is rather annoying. <laughs> so let's check how long these debuffs are gonna last for. Um, the colonist died times two minus five is going to expire in one and a half days for Tronka. But these are going to last, yeah, 24 or 25 ish days. These, uh, my son Gorilla died and my son Senga died. That's such a long time. That's about two months, half a year. Minyaka's back at it. Minyaka, I'm so proud of you. Listen, Minyaka, the first thing I need you to do is I need you to counsel Tronka. Hopefully help him get past some of these, this trauma. Minyaka successfully counseled Tronka, canceling the mood impact to minus 20. Doesn't look like it. He still has my son Gorilla died and my son Senga died for minus 20, minus 20. Yeah, I'm not sure what changed there. Really not sure what changed there. Oh my gosh, Minyaka on top of it considered her children to be her friends, which is an additional minus 11. Too bad she can't counsel herself. She's in the daze now. Okay. We had Minyaka for all of a few hours before she went right back into a daze. She's mental break after mental break. I mean, it's understandable. A mother just lost two children. But, damn, Minyaka, we need you. Jay's getting a harvest of uh, hay grass in. Fantastic. Hopefully our animals won't cut it so close to starving this winter. I know last winter, our animals just about starved to death. We barely got um, our first harvest of haygrass in time. But I mean, looking at this, it looks like we have a ton of haygrass. I don't know how we could possibly run out. We just need to make sure that we cull the herd before winter, not during winter, right? It's the extra mouths to feed that is gonna really burn through all of the uh, hay grass really quickly. Also need to make sure that we're keeping this pen clear so there's plenty of uh, room for grass to grow so the animals can graze on it. For example, I don't think we need three alpacas. So let's go to animals. Let's slaughter this zero year old. No, that's our one male. That's our one female. We want to slaughter maybe the three year old male. There's a shaman merchant coming to town. Ooh, maybe they have a good book that we can buy. We have plenty of silver. All right, um, who has decent social skill? I think it was Jay, right? Yeah, Jay has social level eight. All right, Jay, I want you to go ahead and trade with Squid. What a fun name. Uh, what can we do, Squid? Squid can sell us gold, a psychic shock lance, beer, psychic animal pulser, psychic soothe pulser, plasteel, bioferrite, 52 herbal medicines. Maybe we take the maybe we take the 52 herbal medicines. Um, yeah, honestly, no, we have 52. We can only buy one from them. Okay. Well, we'll we'll just buy the one. Um, 
might be worth buying some uh, horses later on to help us travel quickly, but uh, for the time being, yep, just the one medicine will do, I guess. There's nothing else, really. Okay. Thanks for the one medicine. Probably wasn't even worth buying it. We grow all our own medicine here. We've got plenty in reserve. We have been bl blowing through our medicine really quickly, though. Sonova, I need you to stop. Oh, this is endlessly frustrating. Look, she's botching them all, which means all of this rice is just going to waste. Oh my god. Yeah, go eat the berries. I approve. Eat the berries. That's good. You know what we could do? We could tame her and then immediately, like, exile her from the colony. That way we could avoid killing her. But, oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do here is. Uh, Alright, that's it. I think we're going to try taming her. She's so much... This is so annoying. I think we're going to tame her and then we're going to immediately exile her once we tame her. Because we don't want to keep her. Ah, Sonova. Oh, well. Oh my gosh. I won't say that wasn't convenient, but at the same time, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the timing on that is just gold. Oh my gosh. Well, um, guess that that point is moot. The grizzly bear did what we were all thinking, but we're too scared to do ourselves. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea to try and hunt this grizzly bear before it becomes a problem. So let's take our two ranged guys. Right here. And let's have them both... Fire at the grizzly bear. Nope. I don't want you to move there. I want you to individually fire at the grizzly bear. Hello. Fire at the grizzly bear. Fire at the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear is taking revenge on Minyaka. Stop. Who said you could do that? Okay, I think we lucked out big time there. We didn't take a single bit of damage, and we really could have. Wow, we lucked out. Okay, Tronka, I need you to prioritize butchering. We've got an alpaca and a bear to butcher, and knowing you, you're just gonna let them go rot before we even get the chance to butcher the meat and cook it into some nice meals. There we go, Tronka. It's a shame what happened to that poor um, wild woman. We were trying to go the non-violent route of dealing with her, but I guess nature had its way first. Tronka, where are you going? Tronka, before you do that, I need you to haul like all of this meat in. There you go. Jesus. Even the food on the ground outside to heat to to spoil in the heat of summer. Not a good idea. So I'm not sure exactly what the counseling that Minyaka did and how it helped Tronka. Oh, I see. There's a counseled by Minyaka buff. It doesn't actually get rid of the debuff, it just adds a 20 buff. Let's see if she can do it again. That's pretty good. That's keeping Tronka afloat. No saying how long Minyaka will last, though. How is Olga doing? Olga joined! We've got a new person! Oh my gosh. This couldn't have come at a better time. We really need this new person. Alright. Olga, you suck at social, so we're not going to have you do any child care. Tronka, you suck at social, so we're not going to have you do any child care. Not that we have any children to care for at the moment anyways. Um, yeah, Minyaka can handle taming. 
and an animal work. Tronka is our cook. Cook priority one, growing priority two. Jay is going to prioritize construction and growing, okay? And you are going to probably not do any growing. We don't need you to do any growing. You will be our crafter first and foremost. We're gonna set that to priority two. Then you're gonna haul and clean, and then you're going to do research. And then if you have time after that, you can do some dark study, but I don't think we're delving into the anomaly DLC until we stop being so close to death and mental breaks constantly. <laughs> we need to be in a much more stable position to start considering doing that. But that means hopefully Olga will get caught up on cleaning and hauling jobs, which there are plenty of, let me tell you. Um, we don't need the animals eating the hay already, so I'm going to go ahead and set this storage priority to normal. And this one is preferred, so all the hay will go in here instead, and the animals can continue grazing on the ground. Perfect. Has Olga already gone ahead and claimed this room? What we probably could do, and should do, is add a nice little torch in here. A wall torch lamp to light up the room. There we go. Now, Olga currently is wearing a parka. Fantastic. It's uh, it's pretty low quality though. It's poor and it's uh, deteriorated. It's only 48%. Um, so Olga might not be too happy about wearing that, but at least Olga won't freeze this winter. A new quest available is called The Loving Hair. Benyo Antelope, Christ's chief of Treaty of Guaboa, is looking for a safe settlement to take care of her pet Zippity, pet hair Zippity, for 15 days. Zippity is suffering from paralytic abasia and must be kept in bed. You can accept for hyperweave or glitter world medicine. Let's take the glitter world medicine. Just for taking care of a rabbit? We can do that. Um, where is Zippity though? Okay, Minyaka's already taken care of Zippity. Sure, Zippity can hang out in the barn, that's fine. It's a fine place for Zippity to hang out. Let's see how Olga's doing. Has Ol Olga made any friends? Olga seems to like uh, Minyaka and Jay a lot, but Tr Tronka not so much. That's fair enough. Tronka wasn't doing any recruitment efforts on him, so Olga might be a little bit suspicious of Tronka for the time being. Okay, when Minyaka wakes up, she will have her counseling ability unlocked again, and she can counsel Tronka once more. All right, go ahead and eat some breakfast. And I'm going to need you before you rest. Tronco was already counseled recently. I know, but we want to counsel him again for the other child. He didn't just lose one child. He lost both of them. There's a steel club in here for some reason. Is that Minyaka's steel club? Minyaka, equip your steel club back again. There you go. Olga probably needs a weapon. What is Olga good at? Olga's decent at shooting. All right, Olga, you get a normal recurve bow. All right. Olga is currently working on keeping all of this wood hauled. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and harvest these berry bushes. We haven't um we haven't done any berry harvesting anytime recently, but um, it's just free food. We'd be crazy not to take it. I guess it's pretty inefficient because you have to haul it from far away in the map. But that's what Olga's here for. Doing all the, the inefficient hauling. I'm excited to see Olga get to cleaning too. Um, this place is always such a mess. But with like a full-time hauler and cleaner, I think it's going to be a lot better. I know we got Olga to primarily research and we're not having Olga research right now, but that's just because there's a big backlog of work. Once Olga gets through the backlog, I think there'll be a lot more time 
uh, for him to do research. Oh my gosh, we have another blight on our hay grass? That's the second time this season this has happened. This is really bad. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it through the winter and feed all of our, our animals. <sighs> okay, well, I mean, there's only one thing we can do. Just cut all the plants. There we go. All right, Jay and Tronka, it's all you guys, it's all you. All right, now that all the blight is cut away, we can go ahead and allow sowing once more. So all of these should be, okay. We'll have to replant this field to hopefully get one more harvest before winter. I might be hoping for too much. <sighs> this game is so stressful. We've had such slow progress so far. It's been a slow start, but I have a feeling things are about to pick up real quickly now that we have more colonists. I mean, with four adults, we're basically getting done things done at twice the pace as what we were when we just had the two adults. So um, things should start picking up quickly. We'll start researching technologies more quickly. We'll get electricity up and running. We have a whole lot of exciting things to look forward to, and it'll make us appreciate it all the more when we finally get electricity and air conditioning and heaters. Oh my gosh. Knowing what we were dealing with earlier, we will definitely appreciate it so much more. Look how uh, spanking clean this, this colony is. Well, don't look at Olga's room or Jay's room. Hey, Olga, this is not your room, by the way. Um, this is set owner, Olga. You don't get to sit there. That's for the children. Come on, man. We didn't toggle these uh, automatic uh, refuel for these uh, passive coolers in here, but we will now. All right. I think this is a good place to wrap up the episode. We've reached some kind of uh, equilibrium, more or less. I mean, Minyaka and Tronka are still really having a rough go of it. Minyaka is breaking like almost every day. But Jay and Olga are holding down the fort. Tronka is actually coping somewhat. Due to being counseled, I think that helped a lot. So we're making it work. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.